This is how to make live subtitles. It's not perfect, but it kind of works. <laughs> okay, this is all done in OBS. There's a plugin to download. It's a drag and drop install. Once you've installed this plugin, you need to enable the, the captions doc. So just go to docs and where the there? Captions. Here we go. We've got this new little window here. You can see it's already talking because I'm recording. You can see it's 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 saying it's saying what I'm seeing. It's seeing it's saying what I'm seeing. It's seeing what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> what we're gonna do basically is add in a new text source. And this this is gonna act as the captions. And now just type in any any random garbage. And we're just gonna use this as a quick it's a quick test uh, for formatting. Select our font. Let's select select our color. Let's make some yellow captions. Sure, why not? And that 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 looks all right. I'm happy with that. Sure, hit OK, and I'll position them. I'm just going to have some captions in the center here. That seems all right. And now we're going to edit the caption settings. Put this little cog down on your captions dock, and it'll open up your settings. In the general tab, we need to make sure we select our mic input. In here, you can also choose whether you want your captions to time out after a certain amount of time. I'm going to leave it on 15 seconds timeout. That works for me. Now, this is the important bit. Go to the open captions tab, add text output. And now we're going to select our source captions. And you can see already it's starting to update. Um, you can select the number of lines you want. I see at the moment it, it's it's a lot of lines. I'm going to change that down to one for what we're doing here today. Hit save. Here we go. Now we just have one line of text going along the bottom, but oh, it's, it's going off the screen. It's, got, it's going up. It's, got, it, it's jibbing about. I kind of want it. I want it to be centered. And you'll probably want this text box to say in a certain place. So here's here's how we do that. Right click on your captions. Go down to transform, edit transform. Or if you're a whiz, you can use control E. And you, you, find, this, you find this little window. Main thing you've got to change here is your position alignment. Change that from top left to center. And now as it's changing scale and adjusting, Rather than scaling up from the top left corner, it's going to scale from the middle and it just makes a lot more sense. Look, see, this feels like it makes a lot more sense. And that kind of works if, you, if you're going for simple captions like this, where it's just on the bottom, that works. However, you may come into occasions where you want this text to fit into a certain area. Let's say I want, I want my text in this section here. All right, I wanted to go for a few lines, so we'll add a few more lines in. Line length 20, sure. Hit save on that. So now when I'm talking, look, okay, it's here, but I want it to say a bit more control. So a way we can do this is we can use a bounding box on our edit transform. We can use scale to inner bounce, and this, this makes it quite easy to keep it uniform in one tiny place. It'll edit the transform scale. If you want it in a in a tight space and you don't want it to overlap anything or go too far over, this is a good way to do it. This is like if you're doing a speech bubble, basically. This is this is the way to do it. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. It's um it's very it's very simple. Get creative with it. Um I've got a playlist of other similar stream related stuff if you wanna if you wanna watch. Otherwise, just scram. 